Hey there, lovely soul, and thank you for joining me. I'm Infinity, and this is the third installment of my Empowered Empath video series. I have many videos coming in this series to help you navigate the world when you're an empath. And I also have an ebook. It's called The Essential Empath Guide on my website, and it is free, so check that out. It will help you. It starts off with the quiz and that's actually the first video in the series is me going over the quiz getting more depth and clarity on different not all of the questions but some of the questions and then the ebook goes into a lot more information after that if i'm new to you i am infinity shaman mystic psychic physical empath medical medium uh, astral meditation guide ascension coach spirit liaison and divinely guided artist and i work worldwide with my clients so check out my website thehealingbutterfly.org to find out a lot of information about energy empaths me and my miraculous story from being super sick uh to, with fibromyalgia to going to being a super healer and uh working with people and animals all over the world so please check that out and see if there's any services there that i can offer you aside from all of the information and free um, meditations on my podcast and ebooks that you can find in my shop okay so let's get to it we're here talking about diet but in particular meat and why meat is so bad for you if you're an empath ah, this is a tough one because most of us uh people who grew up in the 70s and 80s and 90s maybe children that are being brought up today hopefully uh, are being brought up with eating anything but meat until you know they have the the chance to make that choice for themselves but for most of us we started being fed meat when we were probably six months old and i know i fed my son meat when he was you know of age to start or six or eight whatever age it is when you start feeding babies you know the jarred you know chicken soup and chicken noodles and beef this and you know it's just what we do when you're a meat eater it's like oh they can start eating solids let's start feeding them let's start feeding them some baby food that has meat in it and from a very young age we are eating meat we're consuming that protein and that energy um and so we become very accustomed to it and it's actually addictive there's enzymes in meat that stay and live in our gut and it literally calls out for more and we crave that just like cheese cheese is addictive meat is addictive it has enzyme in it that and i don't know the name of it i'm not <laughs> not claiming to be a, a doctor or a scientist, but it is fact that there is enzymes or en an enzyme in meat that causes you to crave it, just like it causes you to crave cheese. And uh, they're in the same, <laughs> very much in the same neighborhood there. So the reason why meat is bad for us, and not just empaths, for anybody, and this is aside from the fat, aside from um you know nutritional anything this is talking about what we're putting in our bodies and how that fuels our body and what it means for us energetically but especially for empaths we're really sensitive to energy right so that's what an empath is being being somebody who has larger neurotransmitters and we can pick up on energy and we feel energy more and for if you're unfamiliar with how that works please watch that first video because i get into it in that first video so energy everything is energy everything that is in our environment is en energy everything that we um, consume with our eyes or our ears or our mouths is energy and this is and it's cool because in the world today people are a lot more into energy and how things feel and this has good energy and that's positive energy or that was negative energy or toxic energy and people are talking like this more so in the last year or two than they ever have before and just 
the world, just regular world, not spirituality, not energy people or um, as far as like healers like myself go, but the world at large is noticing and talking about energy and the way it feels, the way it affects us, what feels good, what doesn't feel good, what's good for us, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we know enough to know there's good energy, positive energy, and negative energy. There's things that lower our vibration and raise our vibration. So the problem with meat and any kind of meat, because a lot of people are like, oh, I don't eat meat. I just eat chicken and fish. <laughs> that cracks me up every time uh, because fish is meat, chicken is meat. Everything that is an animal in any shape or form is meat. Clams are meat. Uh, if, it's, if it's an animal, it's meat. If it was killed or raised to be consumed as meat, this is what I'm talking about. And even for those people, the few, compared to the many who buy their, their meat at the store, the few who hunt, it's we'll get into that in kind of a little subsection um, of of meat. And, and when I say raised for consumption, raised to be murdered, um, I know that there's lots of other words that are used in this um, when talking about animals being being raised and killed for for consumption. They call it slaughter. Or they call it whatever. They're murdered. Okay, they have a life. They and they're murdered or they're they're raised usually, typically in very sad conditions. Especially chickens. They're the most mistreated animal. We we overfeed them we we fill them with antibiotics and hormones to make them big um like back in the 50s chickens were chicken sized now they they're humongous to the point where they have a hard time standing because the the meat on the bones is too much for the skeletal structure to support um, so chickens are the worst treated animal, but then there's fish and they've been pulled out of the ocean to an alarming rate. And then there's the farm fish who are miserable because they're swimming around in these small little pens and literally living in their own, you know, filth. And, and if you look at the difference in what, if you, cutting open a fish that's farmed raised and cutting open the same species of fish that's in the wild the meat looks the flesh looks completely different so i don't know if you've ever seen those pictures before like of a salmon it's a wild caught salmon versus a farmed salmon so uh and then just you know cows and pigs and how they're how they're raised and everything so we need to see it from to understand this on an energetic level you need to see it from the animal's point of view so imagine you're that cow or that pig or that chicken and you're taken away from your mother um, you are put into pens or, or a cage your whole life you're raised to a certain point you're you're you know uh, put in certain places with certain other animals and then when it comes comes time to slaughter of course everybody's going to say it's done humanely but if you have dogs if you have cats if you've ever known an animal you know how aware they are you know how smart they are you know how sentient they are you know how they feel how they get upset how they get happy how they get depressed how they get lonely how they get excited how they have all these feelings just like we do they don't live the same types of lives because they're animals but they have we're animals too they have all the same feelings we do they get depressed they get happy they get bored they get sad they get lonely they get happy they get excited they get all of the emotions the same emotions we do maybe for different reasons but they have all those emotions and they're very intelligent most animals are very smart and I'm an, I communicate with animals. I, I can I understand animals on a, on a very deep level and they're they're very, very smart and very sensitive. And they know 
what's going on so an animal that's on a farm that you know that are, is going to be taken for s slaughter to be murdered separated from their mothers and all of this stuff they they know like if you have ever seen that like the movie babe and and all of you know that's not like far from the from the truth of them un understanding what's going on and who's who and what's what and and all the ins and outs of the world um that you know it, it depicts it pretty well actually as far as the understanding that animals have so imagine the understanding of a wild or like a it doesn't even exist but a cow who who just gets to roam around and is free and is not being used for any reason versus a cow who's stuck in a pen who's pumping out milk or is raised to a certain stage with all the other ones and then they they go into this thing and they never come out and you know they die there the energy of those places is felt by animals. Animals are so sensitive to energy. So no matter what they what they know, you know, we can we can debate all day about what they understand and what they know, but the bottom line is that they have been taken from their from a normal existence, from a normal lifespan, from living with their kind in a, in, in a normal way, and they are killed one way or another. Um, they're killed and they're they're hurt, they're disrespected, they're they're all of these things that happen to an animal. So imagine walking through, you know, tunnel like you're a cow and you're walking through the tunnels that they take them through and there's that energy of, of they, if you've ever seen their impossible videos to watch, I can't watch them. I've seen very, I've seen them, um, but uh, only in little bits because it's very hard for me to watch. Um, but the way that they're they're maneuvered and they go through these whole th these whole stages before they they get taken to be killed the whole like their whole life they know that this is eventually going to happen and then the when it starts happening they they get into fear they have been um you know in a certain way about their lives one way or another it's hard to say across the board how they're treated because there's so many different farms and and production uh, facilities for slaughter and what they do and how they do it. But one thing's for sure is that they're being murdered before their time. They're raised a certain way that's that is specifically for consumption. And so their the energy in their body is very fear based, is very low vibrational because of the nature of their existence and their death and what that's all tied to. And so let's take it back to the empath and what you're consuming and what you're eating. So if you're eating a steak, uh, um, pork chop, a chicken sandwich, fish sticks, or you know, fish fillet, or whatever it may be, and all these different pieces of all these different animals, day in and day out, consuming that low vibrational energy. What do you think that's going to happen to you? Because you are what you eat, and you eat that for energy, for protein. Protein is energy; it fuels the body. That's why people are like, "Oh, meat, protein. Protein equals energy." What is that energy that's attached to that steak or that burger or that sandwich or that, you know, that dish that you get at the restaurant? Not good energy. <laughs> it's not good energy. It's very low vi vibrational, sad energy. And the more sensitive you are as an empath, the harder it is on the body to have that energy inside of it. So I've seen this happen time and time and time again, where empaths begin to go through their spiritual awakening and become more aware of energy and who, who and what they are and how things affect them. And they start to realize and recognize that after they eat meat 
whatever it is, they feel very heavy. They can get depressed. They can have bad dreams, especially if you don't eat meat that often and then you do eat meat. A lot of people, it's like it'll spike up in heaviness and feeling depressed, feeling sad, having really bad nightmares and all that kind of thing is really common across the board. But just if you're somebody like I used to be who ate meat, every day one way or another at least one meat meal a day and so you know i don't come up from a place of judgment here for people who eat meat still because it's what like i started we started eating meat at a very young age we've always eaten meat like you never had a choice you didn't get to the age of five or six and said that's a cow and cow equals steak cow equals burger do you want that to give you the opportunity to go, I don't want to kill that cow and eat a steak. No, thank you. Because I guarantee you, most children, by the time they get to an age that they can actually understand these things, they know their dog, they love their dog. If you ask them if they want to kill that dog and eat that dog, I guarantee you they'll say no, and they'll say the same thing for a cow or a pig or a chicken. But because you start eating meat at such a young age, It's just always is what it is. And we kind of get programmed that this is the way that it is. And our bodies have been used to it since we were literally infants for so many of us. And so we come from that, you know, position, that that station, uh, that programming, that that's what we do with certain animals. And that's not what we do with other animals. And if you think about it, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense as to why it's okay to kill a cow, but why and eat it, but why it's not okay to kill a dog and eat it. It's not okay to kill any animal and eat it as far as I'm concerned. But once upon a time, and for most of, well, there was a, a, a long period when I was in my very early 20s where I didn't eat meat for a really long time. And then I did again. And then now I, I don't and um and I haven't for about six or seven years now. Again, because I got to a point where where I was really understanding myself energetically. I was a very confused, ignorant person my whole life. I did not know I was a psychic physical empath. I did not know I was a medical medium. I just thought I was broken. And I was, you know, like I said, I had fibromyalgia really severely, extremely severely. And uh, I didn't understand anything about energy or my body or being an empath. It's just not mainstream we don't talk about it no doctor that i ever saw knew anything about it either so um and i know for a fact that my physicality and the horrible state of my physicality had a lot to do with eating meat and i didn't know that at the time i didn't have any association that the energy with meat was the problem and for some people who are super super um sensitive to what they eat and um and all of that you can even get sick from eating a banana because the energy that stuck to it the people that touched it or whatever it was near has that energy near it and if you're super sensitive and you don't clear the banana before you eat it it will make you it will hit you almost the same way as as meat will not the same but the point here is is that there's some of us that that are really sensitive to what we eat and it's because of the energy attached to it uh so food that is high vibrational like fruits and vegetables uh raw are is really good or even cooked i cook my vegetables i i I eat salads but i also cook my vegetables but those high those are high vibrational foods um because of the nature of what it is that you're what you're eating um but if you eat processed foods frozen processed meat dishes probably the worst but any kind of like processed foods, anything like in those middle aisles of the grocery store where it's in a box or in a container and there's nothing alive in it are lower vibrational, especially if there's a lot of preservatives and chemicals there for to, to do different things to the food. Now all you have to do is look at the label and see, you know, if there's a bunch of things on there that you can't pronounce and you don't know what it is, you don't want it in your body. That's 
low vibrational energy no matter which way you slice it and it's not good for anybody but especially empaths so when it comes let's shift now to like hunting so no they're not in the environment they're out in the wild they're living their life they're do, 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 doing their normal normal thing and then somebody comes along and shoots them or or puts a bow uh, an arrow in them or whatever traps them however it's done where people do hunting um they're still being murdered there's fear that goes into them there's pain that goes into them there's confusion there's sadness there's um they're worried about their the if they're pack type animals which most are to some degree um they had they're worried about their families they're worried about their children they're worried about their parents they're, i mean these things are this is real and so we can't say like oh just because they're they're not in a farm someplace and they're not you know raised for consumption that it's fine it's not okay it's never okay to kill an animal for any justification and moreover we don't need meat to to survive it's not necessary i mean there's plenty of animals in the world that are big and huge and strong and never eat meat look at a gorilla look at an elephant they can do it we can do it we're not we're actually not dis meant to eat meat we just have and we never stopped um, regardless of, of everything else, it's just always been the way that it's been. But as we all know, uh, shifting to veganism has definitely been the wave uh, coming up for a long time. And now more than ever with so many plant-based options, uh, there's really no reason to. And everybody that, that you know opts for a plant-based diet or, or meal versus a meat-based meal leaves the table going i feel great i feel light i don't feel heavy i don't feel because there's that light and heavy those are the words that people use when it comes to how they feel after they eat and after they eat meat and the difference between eating meat uh, eating it like a tacos that are meat-based and tacos that are plant-based and how that feels to the body um and so, so that's a deal when it comes to like hunting. There's also a problem there because you're if you eat that hunted meat that you know that animal that was that was scared that was in pain that you know et cetera et cetera whatever, um, and it's very rare that an animal is just killed instantly in hunting and they don't feel any of that and even still. Their soul is attached to their body. They know what's gone on. I mean, you just can't escape the energy of murder. <laughs> Any which way you slice it, you cannot escape the energy of murder in food that you consume. So those are the two ways that people get meat. Either you go to the store or you go and you hunt it for it. But either way, you're consuming energy that is low vibrational. And, and not only that, it's not like, oh, well, I'm going to get all of my my beef from one cow and get used to that energy you're eating so many different pieces of so many different animals if you think about it and 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 putting all those different pieces of energy from all these different animals into your body and what that does to us and and energetically the body can only you know process so much and and have the, a higher vibration when you're lowering it so you can eat fruits and vegetables and go and be a fitness freak and go out into nature and do a whole bunch of hiking but if you're also eating a bunch of meat with your diet at the same time there's only so high in vibration you're going to be able to get to period because you're putting in lower vibrational energy into your body and i would just say for those people who want to stop eating meat and eat less meat and and get into eventually eating no meat i would not recommend stopping cold turkey um, it's only going to shock the system just like any other thing that you stop doing suddenly to yourself. The body goes into 
freak out mode and starts to and like i said we're addicted to to the enzymes and meats and so you will get that like oh i want that i want that and especially if you smell it that's brutal i haven't eaten meat in like i said seven years but if i smell it it still smells good to me because of that conditioning that program it doesn't mean i want to go eat it but especially if i'm hungry i'll be like oh my god i hate that that smells good but it does and um and it's just you know what we've been used to, to what we what we're used to you know so but what i would say for for people who want to stop eating meat is do it slowly and gradually give yourself a few weeks at least if you eat meat with every meal every single day eliminate a a meat meal like three days of the week for the first week something like that or four days of the week the first week and then the next week do it five days a week and then make it two meals on one day and two meals on another day that you're not eating meat and start to learn how to eat without meat and how to cook without meat and for myself it was um it was something to learn uh how to do that because there was always like the meat and then what else what you made with it or ate with it and then I was like well if I'm not eating meat then what am I how am I cooking what am I eating what am I doing like was I didn't know because I I didn't have to to do that right so eventually I I I learned I looked up recipes online I started you know I, I my body took over because I was spiritually awakening awakening and I the my tolerance for meat my my feelings of being wanting to eat meat started to just just crash and even eggs um i would only suggest eating eggs and i eat eggs but i only eat free range organic eggs period because of the energy of the eggs that come from the chickens that are stuck in pens just pumping out eggs all the time being you know producing like that those eggs are very sad very very low vibrational e eggs and and if back years ago i uh i ordered a breakfast sandwich uh and it had eggs in it and i took one bite and it was like tasting sadness like i cannot explain it in any other way than that but it was just like I couldn't eat any of it and it really bummed me out I was like oh great now I can't eat eat eggs out because most you know unless it's a healthy type place where they get organic free, free organic free range eggs most places don't they get those big huge things with like a bazillion eggs really really cheap and that's what they serve you and so that is something to consider also dairy dairy is coming from cows that are sad hooked up to contraptions that are keeping them lactating which is not normal they they are cows are not meant to constantly be lactating they're meant to have a baby take care of that baby with their milk the baby gets older and they stop lactating and they don't do that but we force them into this constant state and there's also pus involved in that that's coming through those things which is really gross and um that makes your your dairy products um and and full disclosure i am uh, i have i have been meat free for a very long time but but still with some like dairy like sour cream some yogurt some cheese but as time has gone on my body is rejecting anything that's not free range and coming from happy cows like organic free range cheese my body is okay with um otherwise i break out really badly and it and i've been experimenting with this a lot in the last couple months and just knowing from my guidance it's the cheese <laughs> i'm like is it the cheese my guides are like it's the cheese because it's the energy and you're just raising your vibration your body can't handle that lower lower vibration cheese didn't used to well maybe cheese has always made me break out and i just 
didn't ever associate it. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Um, but I have gone through periods where it's been like better or worse, but it also depends on what else is going on in your environment as well. So how much negative energy is packed in will also, you know, tip the scales on those other things that you put into your body that, you know, cause the body to break out with skin conditions is usually the way it'll start. Eczema and um, is, is a big one and also, also acne I'm I don't get eczema I get acne I get really bad cystic acne and have since I was in my mid-20s I never did when I was younger and and I think honestly it was just an accumulation of energy to a certain point that that made that happen and I've had that struggle ever since so I'm finally like after going ups and downs with that I am I'm eliminating any kind of cheese that isn't like, you know, that free range organic cheese just because of what it does. So if you have that, uh, that experience with your skin, if you have any like chronic skin type conditions, um, acne and eczema, and of course there's a host of other skin conditions, but those two, I would say are the most, uh, popular the or the I don't know popular is the right word either but the what people get the most when they when they have an energetic imbalance and their body is trying just you know it needs to come out some way and everybody's body is a little bit different for how it tries its best to keep you healthy and to regulate so it's trying to expel and it's also trying to send you messages something's wrong here because if you you shouldn't have acne and you shouldn't have eczema we all know that right why is that happening why anything that happens in the body is energetic so it's the the thing to understand is how everybody processes that energy differently some get cancer some get ne neurological issues some get kidney disease or heart defects or you know diseases and stuff like this that we all have kind of different pockets we'll fall into when it comes to the abundance of energy that's in our system that is causing imbalance calling block causing blockages in our energetic flow from all of our chakras to to work the way that it it all should so we can stay healthy so we have to consider that what we put into our body as energy as fuel energy is the energy that that you know what is that vibration what is that energy that we're putting into our bodies and what where did it come from what is it it does it have what is the energy I mean I wish that there was like a, on the nutritional label that would say the energy of it doesn't that's not on there so people don't think about that they think about calories and fat and sugar and sodium and vitamins and all that stuff and all of those things equal energy but the energy quotient is something that we need to think about so look at meat as energy and what is attached to that meat look at the fruit look at your snacks look at your whatever and i'm not saying that it always has to be this high vibrational food because i eat cookies i eat chips i enjoy things that are that are not you know uh, fruits and vegetables, of course, but but it's all in moderation. And I got to tell you also, what you see here, this body that I think I weigh about 115, something like that. I honestly don't know. I haven't weighed myself in forever. But before in my previous life, when I was sick, when I was eating whatever, or eating meat and stuff like that, like my normal weight, my entire life was between like 130 five on the low side and 155 to 60 on the average or high side so that is a huge difference like I said I'm about 115 now so and that's because I've eliminated so much uh, from my diet that is low vibrational number one being meat if you eliminate meat from your diet you will guaranteed lose weight unless you're somebody who's already really lean and, and has a super you know fast metabolism and you eat meat anyway you will lose a little bit of weight but most people are packing on way more weight than they than they're they're they should be because of meat 
and the heaviness and the of the energy of meat in their body and other processed foods of course and and also portions and and that sort of thing you know falls into play and what else you're doing energetically as far as exercise and stuff but a lot of people are like i exercise i do this i do this i do this but i don't lose weight but I do eat a lot of meat and they don't understand that the energy associated with meat is heavy and it sits in the body and it doesn't move and it just kind of builds on itself. And for a lot of people that will make you pretty sick eventually. Um, so that's the story about food and meat and consuming meat and why meat is so bad for you as a human in general but especially if you're an empath and another thing to note is that as you begin to raise your vibration and spiritually awaken and come into you know more and more of your understanding on a soul based basis you will naturally gravitate away from meat it's just the way that it is and i tell people that come to work with me uh in energy healing especially in my evolve now program which is a month of coaching and two separate long phases of healing uh that once we eliminate all of this energy your body is really going to reject meat and other things energetically that you may consume now but once you eliminate this energy you're going to notice a big big difference and people have from caffeine to sugar to meat like boom my body's just like no and it's it's something that the mind the personality the identity has to get used to not associating with not being able to be a part of anymore where the body is like no so I've seen people who are like I know I feel like shit every time I eat any kind of meat but they're still doing it because they they're they're in resistance to change this really big thing about themselves but the body really doesn't want that anymore and I've had so many people come to me and say yeah over the last year I'm almost not eating meat at all anymore and you know after talking to me they're like yeah I could definitely see this is why and all of that because I am so much more energetically in tune and aware and clear and I have awoken to you know to a lot of things in my in in you know universal understanding spiritual awakening ascension however you want to put it that you know it's like once you know you can't unknow and once you you're tapped in with your body on a certain level you're not it's very hard to not put things together like like how you feel after eating certain things and going wow is that the steak that i've been eating for 20 30 40 years but now every time i eat steak it gives me diarrhea i get a headache i feel heavy i can't sleep well and after so many instances of the same thing happening and getting that meat from different resources the proof is in the evidence no matter where you get it for from no matter what is on it no matter how it's prepared it is animal it is murdered animal and you're consuming me that animal and it's making you sick because of the energy attached to it and we just have to accept that that is what it is and regardless of us eating it since we were six months old this is what this is what it has done to our bodies and your body begins to say f off <laughs> you're not doing this anymore and and you have to get into alignment with that for yourself so if this has already happened to you, you know exactly what i'm talking about if it hasn't happened to you yet um and you're on the ascension path i would guarantee that it will at some point and especially if you're on the fast track of healing if you if you've worked with me you know that for a fact but that's something that I tell every one of my clients but before we get started if you're still a meat eater prepare yourself to not be such a meat eater after a few weeks of of getting into deep energy work because your body will reject it and you will have to get into alignment with that unless you want to be miserable all the time and most people don't <laughs> so so there you go um please leave your comments your experiences about your journey with food in general and meat especially and how you feel about that what do you think about 
this business with energy in in meat and how that affects us and does that resonate with you and have you experienced that before have you not eat meat and then ate meat thinking it'd be no big deal and then got really really sick from it because of the energy and did you know that or did you think it was something else so anyway tell me what you think and how you feel and what your experience and journey has been please share it with the group it's always good to hear from people sharing their experiences i love comments um, they motivate me they're good for each other for all of us to partake in and read so please leave comments don't forget to like share this video with those who you feel should um, listen to this information get them consume this information please subscribe to my channel if you would like more information about empaths energy updates tarot and oracle reads channeled guided astral self-healing meditations that i have here and on my podcast you can get to from my website um, as well and that's it for now again thank you so much for being here infinite love and blessings i love you already and until next time bye for now <laughs>